Now, in the world of tennis, one name stands above the rest, that's Novak Djokovic, but there is always a hint of mystery surrounding him. From his playing style to his hunger to stay on top, Djokovic and his measures have often been different from the rest. Maybe that's what sets him apart in some ways. He's out of the box thinking. The Serb came recently, out, came out saying he wants to navigate the last phase of his career without a coach. Recently, Djokovic parted ways with his longtime coach Goran Ivanisevic and is currently in a trial period with compatriot Nenad Zemanic. Djokovic hasn't made any decisions just yet. He may or may not continue with Zemanic, but in times when Djokovic is not at his best, numbers clearly say so, will his decision to go without a coach backfire or will it surprise us all? Djokovic and sending shockwaves seems to be a regular occurrence, both on and off the tennis courts. If he isn't numbing his opponents with his incredible skills, he's busy trying to come up with radical things to do and make out-of-the-box decisions, like this one. I am considering whether I should or shouldn't have the coach. It's not like I think I don't need a coach at all. I think there's always value in having that quality team. But I think I'm in the stage of my career where I can afford to maybe think having no coach is also an option. Last month, Djokovic parted ways with his longtime coach, Goran Ivanisevic. Despite enjoying tremendous success under Ivanisevic, Djokovic decided to do away with the Grand Slam champion. Under Ivanisevic, Novak Djokovic had won 12 Grand Slam titles. And so when the world number one announced his decision, everyone was a bit surprised. Ever since then, there have been speculations of who will replace Ivanisevic. During the Monte Carlo Masters, Djokovic was joined by compatriot Nenad Zimanić in his coaching staff. Zimanić is a former doubles world number one, who's also won eight Grand Slam titles in his career. A perfect candidate to coach Djokovic then. But given how non-conforming some of Djokovic's decisions have been throughout his career, it's not surprising that he's unsure if he wants to go ahead with Zimanić full-time. We don't have any kind of commitment. It's based on the relationship that already exists for many years. I had a really good time with Nenad Zimanić as my coach in the last three weeks. So, you know, we are talking about continuing and seeing. Let's see. Djokovic has been that way all through his tennis life, whether it's his diet, his training methods or the decisions he takes in life. He has a history of keeping his coaches on their toes as well when it comes to his tennis. Recently, Ivanisevic spoke out saying it's not easy working with Djokovic. He's not an easy guy, let's put it this way. Especially when something's not going his way, he keeps you stressed. The stress level is always high. It never goes down, but every day you learn something. At this, things have not been going his way this year. Djokovic's last tournament triumph came in November 2023. He last won the ATP World Tour Finals. He's played four tournaments this year with no titles. His last outing ended in a semi-final defeat at the Monte Carlo Masters. Novak Djokovic is one of the greatest players of all time. He possesses an unparalleled level of skill, mental fortitude and experience. There is little doubt in that. But even the legends of the game need a coach, a mentor, someone to guide them. Just like how Ivanisevic was brought into the team for working on Djokovic's serve back then, an area he was struggling with. And a massive change was noticeable post that. Djokovic, whose first serve was as low as 115.4 miles per hour in 2015, averaged 120 plus miles per hour in 2023, an area that Ivanisevic helped him get better in. And with Djokovic currently not getting the results he wants in 2024, shouldn't he get someone on board to help him sharpen that then? The Serb always had the knack of coming back into any match. He stretched his game till five sets to cross the line. That's how he's been. Despite his aggressive intent, he had a calm sense on court to outwit his opponents eventually never letting them get into his head. But in 2024, there has been a shift in Djokovic's headspace and a pattern to his losses. He looks agitated when he's behind in the match. Yes, Djokovic's strategic prowess and ability to adapt to different playing styles have been key components to his success. But he has not been able to do any of that in 2024. And in these circumstances, having a mentor could provide valuable insights and support. Djokovic's extensive experience on the tour may allow him to navigate this phase of his career independently. But will it better his game and get him back to winning ways? Is Djokovic experienced enough to go solo? Or does he need the guidance of a coach to maintain his super record and create history?